Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Hand of Fate. We are on the last part of the second leg of our journey, where we play for another symbol of power. Today's opponent will be the Jack of Scales, a lizardman who provides two curses for this encounter. Heavy arrows. In combat, projectiles travel at half their usual speed but inflict twice the damage. And mana drain. Cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. New challenges include two Dead Man's Gorges and two supplies. The Dead Man's Gorge we've seen before, that's not too bad, so I'm not too worried about that one. The heavy arrows could be interesting. It will affect the timing of counterattacks. Mana drain, I'm not too worried about. Alright, for the lore. Their latent magical abilities make these lizardmen feared by all, even their own kind. The suit of scales are represented by these lizardmen. Quiet, patient, lethally subtle and coldly intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. All right, we're getting further. It looks like we're about a third of our decks. Let's take a look at the equipment. See if there's anything that hasn't been put in. Looks like Desperate Measures has been taken out of our deck. Medium Armors have been taken out. I think I want to put in the Mage's Mask to see what it's like. Let's see what I can take out. Fool's Gold, we don't know what that is yet. I think the Helm of Reflection can come out. Uh, what else is there? Hmm. Let's take out Consuming Shame, actually, for the Mage's Mask. <clears throat> we still haven't seen Time Heals, so I think what we'll do... What do we have? The Healer's Ring, Gain of Gold when healing, Ring of Justice. I think I like this one. Weapon Ability causes you to be healed. Third combat player receives health. Hmm, difficult decisions here. Let us do... I'm going to take out the healing cap for time heals. Alright, so the Jack of Scales is in here. We can't take that one out, of course. Several new ones. Uh, Stranger in the Shadows, The Apprentice. Sleep at the Inn, we still need to get the uh, card for that one. I think I'll go ahead and take out Ambush. Let's get some things new in here. You know, it doesn't have a, a seal, but I almost want to get the Field of Poppies to see what that is like. Alright, we're going to take out Devil's Choice for the Devil's Wager. I think I'm going to go ahead and take out the treasure chest. Because that can be a difficult one to get. And I'm going to take out the helpful priest. We're going to put in charity two. And... I'm interested in warning signs, since that was the next leg of another adventure. I think with that... Oh, you know what? I can take out goblins. Thank goodness. Let's get rid of those. And I don't need Embertown Hero anymore. So let's put in... Let's go ahead and put in the poppies. See what those are like. And we'll put in a Wife's Fury. Uh, well, we can put something else. Let's put in the graveyard. Is there anything we can get rid of for Desert Storm? Yeah, let's get rid of Dead King's Hall. There we go, so we got a bunch of new cards in here to try out. Let's do it. You have taken one of my symbols, but now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at stake, and I do not intend to lose it. Your intentions are fine. Let's see if you can follow through with it. Thank 
scales. I have saved the Lizardmen for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no weapon I will not use against you. Oh, well, we start off with a cross-shaped arrangement this time. Oh, this is going to be a, a, a pain in the butt for food. Alright, let's get ourselves a weapon. Climb down. Failure's on the right. Alright, the top card went to the right and it was not failure. Ah, yes. I like this weapon. This pleases you. Oh, it does indeed. Need some food. Oh, a stranger in Aha. the shadows. The Count enters the picture. Again, a token is at stake. On a dark and moonless night, down a lonely road, you encounter a hooded stranger. Greetings, friend. I am in need of some... sustenance. Would you be willing to offer some of your vigor in exchange for gold, he asks, taking out a bag of coins. So, I imagine he will take some of my life for the coins. I'm going to get healed anyway, because i got to go back to the center. Let's do it. The stranger moves with a natural speed to grasp you firmly and bite at your throat. After a few seconds, he releases you. Thank you, he says, handing you some gold as you regain your composure. I am not yet sated. Would you like to earn more gold? Okay, so I gained 12 gold for the loss of 10 health. Let's do it. I've got, like I said, I've got plenty of uh, room to go to get the health back. The stranger moves with a natural speed. Okay, so once again. Thank you, he says, handing you some gold as you regain your composure. Mortal, you seem unusually willing to give up your blood for material gain. The stranger goes on to tell you a tale of secret blood auctions and where they may be found. The card's token is yours. Okay, so by opening myself up to the vampire, he has given me a new adventure. Another token brings you closer to your goals. Alright, we gain five back each tick, so we're going to gain at least half of it back. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. <sighs> I hate to leave it unfinished. Uh, it's going to be costly for food, though. Oh boy. Down to three food. Heroes remains. So often, this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was a well-loved figure. You are approached by the cleric. This great hero fell, defending our beloved town of Wandermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Will you do this, traveler? Okay, um, so I can take the hero's belongings or make an excuse. Oh, let's do it. We'll take the belongings. Thank you. This will mean the world to his family. The town would have revolted had these artifacts not been returned. It's not far to the hero's hometown. Look for the town cleric when you get there. Viking blade. Ooh, 30 damage. Such an elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. Okay, 30 damage. Excellent. It's not as good as my current weapon, but it does have a rage trigger, which is kind of cool. I wonder if we'll be unlocking this with uh, completion, so I'm not going to equip it. Pain. A shield that, that uh, bash that deals damage to the opponent. Damage increase as you go up in combo tiers. That's cool. We're going to have to return it anyway. I'm going to head and not equip it for now. And hurry, it is not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delaying their proper rights. Heavy burden. Oh ah. dear. Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. So this is my third curse now. Now, after five steps, the player loses 50% maximum health. So, the idea here, I think, is I can keep the items 
if I deal with the curse, or if I return the items, I might get rid of the curse. I'm guessing. We'll have to see. Let's see if it opens up a new area. Yeah, okay, there it is. Heroes return. Okay, so we are going to really lose out on food. I, I'm probably going to... Our hero needs sustenance badly. Yes, thank you. Oh, Red Valkyrie is dying. Look. Look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. You reach Wandermere, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town cleric meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing vigil. Alright, so I can keep the dead hero's gear or not. I'm not going to. I, I have better gear. Other than the shield, I have better gear. So let's go ahead and do that. Thank you! This blade will once again be wielded in righteous fury. Do you also have a shield? Okay, you can opt to keep one or the other. That's interesting. Alright, so we're returning that too. Truly you have done the Almighty's work in returning his shield. Thank you. Blessed are we who, protected, can fell those who trespass against us. Draw two blessings. Excellent. Retribution. Whenever Many the of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. We'll see about that. Uh, whenever a player is struck by a ranged attack, a uh, chance that the attacker will be stunned. The gods look upon you favorably. Treasure picker. When the player chooses from multiple equipment or game cards, the choices available are increased by one. Fantastic. Okay. So you have done blessed work this day. For your services, we will prepare for you a sacred artifact that you may continue your good work through the dark days ahead. So the sacred artifact is the token. Put it in the bowl. Okay, um, I'm out of food. I'm now going to start taking damage. The deeper you go, the greater the risk of starvation. I appreciate your efforts. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. A ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. Oh boy, Devil's Carnival. Frivolity is not my forte. All right, so once again, one day, just as dusk gathers, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and strange smells confront you. As you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored, but now faded and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys, past wonders and amazements, seeming almost days. There's something about this place that dulls your senses, and... For a while, you forget your quest. Forget even the path that brought you to this place. Okay, right to, right to, right to... Okay. Uh, of course, it shuffled twice. This one. Oh, gods. <sighs> okay, so I don't know what the first cards are for, because we, we have a double shuffle regardless, I think. Let's see what happens. Sensing a hidden malice about the place, you turn and try to find your way back out of town. You somehow lose your way and end up heading further into the crowds. The mysteries of the carnival await you. Okay, one of the failures went to the left, so that one's one of the failures. So, with this, I've got a 1 in, thir one in 3 chance <laughs> of failing. Yo. Huge failure to huge success. Fantastic. You wander into a hall of curiosities. You pass rows of preserved bodies, some born mutants at birth, others simply creatures that you've never seen before. You continue to browse under their lifeless stairs. Among ancient devices and broken trinkets, you come across the torn remnants of an enchanted map. Upon closer inspection, you realize that it reveals some of the surrounding countryside. Okay, I had kind of mentioned this before. There, are, I can now see the entire uh, steps ahead, which is kind of good and bad. It's linear, so there's nothing I can do at this point. I'm running out of food. Good news is there's a shop at the next one. I've got 22 gold. I can probably buy some food there. After that is Deadman's Gorge and Maze of Traps, so those are probably going to give me some items. Deadman's Gorge will definitely give me combat. All right. Some time later, you find yourself standing at the edge of a forest, the sound of the crowds behind you. Day is just dawning, but which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town, long ago abandoned. Okay, so huge success led on to me getting maximum hit points. This time, huge failure 
went on to huge success, leading on to me getting a map. I wonder what set of circumstances will complete the carnival. Hmm. Down to 70 hit points. We definitely need to get some food here. A chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. You have no idea. Let's see what these got. Oh, good. We can take a look at Life's Limb. Left bumper inflicts a curse of weakening on enemies close to you. Strike a cursed enemy for bonus damage, but it also removes the curse. So you do a little extra damage for one hit. Armor of Cold, we've seen that before, and now the Ring of Poverty. When this ring is sold, all of the player's gold is lost, but the player receives plus one maximum health for every five gold lost as a result of the sale. Interesting. So I could buy that, get a bunch of gold, sell it, and in order to get maximum hit points. Oh, cool. Well, I can't afford any of it. Let's buy some food. Ten food is a value of thirty. I don't have enough. I can buy one for. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Just buy as much as I can. All right. Heal wounds would have been eight. It's all right. I'll heal as I go. It's enough to put you off crossing at bridges like this. Surely there's an alternative that would leave you less exposed and vulnerable. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Deadman's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It is an ambush! One monster card, four of dust. Well, this shouldn't be too bad. If I can avoid damage, I can get my health up a bit further. I had to go and complete the entire last area, didn't I? And of course, I say let's avoid damage and what happens? I take damage from a ranged attack. I wasn't even sure that hit him. That's okay. We have succeeded. Hopefully we can get an item out of this. Something. Two game cards. Excellent. 40 gold. Five food. To the maze of traps, of which I have no qualms going into in order to obtain the treasure. I should be able to complete this without taking damage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's a different... <sighs> okay. It's a different maze. Well, so much for not taking damage, right? Oh god. That was a little too close for comfort. Ow. Okay. So yeah, that might not have been a good idea. Oh dear. All right, 44. We're good. Three game cards. Oh, draw two, one to keep. Healer's Ring, or the Ring of Survival. So the Healer's Ring was what? Gain a gold when I get healing. No, I'm okay there. Ring of Survival though, third combat, gain 20 health. I think I want that right now. Hey, Life's Limb! Cut them where it counts, then finish them. I want to try it. I want to at least see it. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, I know it's less damage, but I want to try it. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Eh, 
Now I do have this, says whenever I gain from multiple equipment or gain cards, it says the choices are available are increased by one. I didn't see that happen, right? Because I had the option, there was two drawn, pick one. It was still two. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there. It felt like I didn't quite get um, what I was supposed to. And we at least, at least can take a look at the sword. I want to see it in combat, though. Well, I've got seven food. One, two, three, four. That'll be five, and then go up uh, six, and then that would be seven. And that would mean I have one less food than I have encounters. I should be able to mostly explore the area. Loan. Usury. The root of all troubles. In a busy market town, you are approached by a shopkeeper on the verge of losing his store. If you lend me some gold I need to save my store, I will repay you one day with interest. I could give him ten gold. Why not? I feel generous. The shopkeeper gracefully accepts your gold, saying, You won't regret this! Now the card's token is mine. Gold payback. Okay, Useful. after... Ten steps, I get three gold gain cards, so that's how I'll get my gold back. That's kind of cool, so it's a blessing that follows the tail of the card, so that's neat. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Okay, this isn't the end, so maybe I shouldn't use up all my food. <clears throat> I can always go back to the previous area and buy some food there. I think I've got enough gold to possibly do that. See what the jeweler has. I can buy food here. Three food for eleven. What do you have? Contract. Time heals during combat. Right bumper to twist time and return your health to its starting value. Starting value of the combat or the starting value of in general? Probably of the combat. Using a weapon ability causes the player to be fully healed and the ring to be destroyed. Oh yes. Grab that. Interesting choice. And we're gonna go ahead and grab some food. Course. Our old friend the Jack of Plague returns to fight another day. No. The Ratman hunting party has a chance of spawning the Jack of Plague. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. We can deal with this. We'll deal with his minions first. Or not, okay. It feels like there are more than I there should be here. I don't know what's Uh oh. Get out of that. Okay, I'm down to 34. Uh-oh. Use it. Ow. No. Multiple attacks. That's not fair. Ow. Okay, I was expecting one attack, so I didn't counter. Oh, God, so I'm poisoned, too. I lost half my health after that. So, I thought he attacked, so I was go ahead and attack him back. But no, apparently he attacked multiple times, and that just made me lose a ton of health. That sucked. And they had nothing to, wor to loot. Dead man's gorge you begin again. to see the nature of the questions we will ask. 
Do we look to the past or to the future? Is your decision predetermined or made in the moment? Interesting new creatures. Nothing to be worried about from the looks of it. Uh oh, boot to the head. Oh, good. Some food. Excellent. Needed that. One equipment card. I'm fleet sure cuffs. For that. Great. So I have some movement speed. Fantastic. Oh, I can't actually go back. Okay, the cave melt, you can't actually go back to a previous area. I never actually tried to do that before, I guess. Oh, sweet, a, a continuation of the mages. And a wizard. Or at least an apprentice. It reminds me of days past. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. One day, you happen upon a young wizard practicing his magic in the forest. He greets you in a friendly manner and beckons you closer. I am but an apprentice wizard with many debts to my mentors. For a small fee, I could transport you to a destination in a faraway land. I could pay him 15 gold, 5 gold, or decline. Um, hmm. Well, I don't have 15. Let's see what happens when I do the 5. Hand over the, f uh, the food? Oh, pay five food. I read that wrong, and I'm going to screw myself by doing that. I thought it was... That's twice I've done that, where I've mistaken food for gold. Uh, maybe maybe Mr. Lionel has tainted me, because he ate all my coins once. You know, these are the things that happen. These are the things that happen, and I'm terrible. I'm a terrible, terrible individual. All right, well, he. I gave him food. I gained a token out of it, though. Don't worry, I'm almost always successful in transporting myself to other places. Luggage is a little trickier. After arriving at your destination, you continue your journey, although your pack feels a little lighter. It is oh, yours. God. You can take it. What did I lose? Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. Okay, I've still got my cuffs. Uh, the ring I used up. I lost something, but what did I lose? Oh well, <clears throat> we're good. We're not on the last leg yet, though. That bothers me. We're too food. I'm running this really light. Oh, cool. The fortune from the blessing. Every game must have both winners and losers. Without them, it degenerates into nothingness. You encounter a priest wandering along the road. He begs for food to feed the orphans. The gods show favor to those who help the last fortunate. Well, I can't give him food. I have one food left, and I'm done. So I'm I'm sorry. I would normally help you, but I must decline. Then the children will go hungry this winter. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. I'm about to go hungry myself. Oh, gods. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Okay, six of plague. I can handle that, right? I can handle six of plague. Okay, okay. Oh, unless that freaking happens. Stun everything. All right. Oh, that's red. Can't block that. It's almost off cooldown. Come on. It's off cooldown. And we go! Uh. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, merciful dealer. Oh, you bastard. A little food. Not a great change, but enough to switch the odds a little. This works great. I am barely making it through with food right Finally, now. Finally, an opportunity to eat. Like, I am getting very lucky that the moment I run out of food, I am able to get some back. Okay, when you draw supplies, instead draw two and pick one. Oh, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that one. Uh, let's just buy a bunch of food before we do... Oh, really? You're only going to sell it in increments of one? I have no idea how much I'm going to need. Apparently can't spam the button or if it or it stops it from working. I'm gonna I'm go ahead sure and buy grateful for that. Ten food, I think. Oh what the hell. Just buy as much as I can buy. I'm just not gonna buy items. Can I sell anything though? Um I could sell Life Slim for twenty. I could sell my axe, I don't need that anymore. A peasant's weapon, but effective nonetheless. Do I need to buy anything? 44 for that. That would be kind of nice. I won't have enough. I'm going to hold on to it just in case something gets pulled out of my pack. We've seen a couple cards do that. I don't like having I um, leaving myself down to the bare items that could possibly be stolen. Ooh. Nature is the greatest threat, even with the queen now dispatched. Be swift. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. You are traveling through a desert when a dust storm approaches. You may be able to reach the safety of some nearby hills before the storm hits you. I can stay where I am or run for the hills. Uh, I'm not sure why I would stay where I am. Let's do it. Okay, avoid the two rights. You've reached the hills just as the dust storm arrives. Card's token is now yours. Well, how nice was that? Pretty quick and easy card. I'll probably be taking that out of the deck because there's nothing else to that card other than getting the token. So that's kind of the interesting thing. Some of these cards are really just about getting a token. Uh, Desert Storm. I okay. Run for the run for protection and you win. <laughs> oh, Jeebus. I need to get the Calling the Ratman card. I want to get these Ratmen out of my deck. Alright, you little bastards. Hey, Kiva! Four. Yay. Noble trader in mind, or simply noble by birth. Good I question. I happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. A nobleman approaches on a chariot. As you walk the streets of Steigl, he notices you and comes to a stop. Greetings, mercenary! I am a collector of rare weapons, and yours intrigues me. Would you part with it for gold? So I could sell my weapon to the nobleman or decline. I do have two weapons, so let's 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 do this. Let's actually let's sell to the tra to the to the fine man. Splendid! I've never seen one of these. Enjoy your newfound wealth! The nobleman rides away. I get five gold gain cards. Wow. 30, 15, 25, 25, 15. 
I have sold my weapon and gotten a new token. Good. All right, we go back to the inventory. And I'm now using Life's Limb. Okay, very good. To continue forward, you must first descend down a ladder and into the unknown. The lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. All right, we made it to the end. Two by two. Oh, there's a spider on the left. I'll go away. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, well, we know if we find the boss, we have to fight it. Uh, I'm going to go up. I like going up. Oh, the feel of poppy is good. We get to I see what this is. I have always felt a kinship to the poppy. Together, we help you forget and also recall. You wander among the field of poppies. Too late you realize that the poppies are making you sleepy. You wake up, groggy and disoriented. Really? Oh! Well, that's interesting. So I could keep that in my deck in order to shuffle the cards on the field. I'm trying to think. That could be useful in some circumstances. Interesting. Well, I'm glad I've seen its effect. Okay. Traveling healer, which I'm, oddly enough, actually pretty good on health. A uh, little bit of food wouldn't be too bad, though. I don't think I can afford to remove any curses, no. Yeah, I have no need of that. Uh, do I buy some food? I've got eight food. I don't really think I overly need it, but I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I'm playing it safe after all, everything earlier. You never know. I might run into something that requires me to spend my food. So I'm going to go do kind of a serpentine pattern in order to try and maximize my movement. Uh, well, do I serpentine or do I go around and back? Thing is, is I've shuffled the card, so the boss could just as easily be here as it could be here. Yeah, let's go around. A wife's fury. You are braver than I if you're willing to get involved in a marital dispute. While traveling through a small town, you're accosted by a furious woman who shouts at you from the door of a homestead. Are you there? You look like you can handle yourself. My husband was supposed to be home hours ago, but instead, he's with his pals drinking away a lot coin. They left the spoils from their latest job there. If you go and teach him a lesson, you can take your pick. So what do you say? Go to the tavern and confront the husband or leave the wife to deal with it herself? Let's do it. I'm going to get into this marital dispute. I am a marriage counselor. With a sword. Um, now. Now oh, here's someone with some sense. I would go crack his skull myself. But I'll drag... Uh, dragon? Dragon? Dragon. Dragon cow is birthing a litter and might burn the whole place down. You find the woman's husband. We meet the Jack again. Did you think him done before? Oh, no. Shuffled back into the deck to rise again to the top. As are we all. Okay, so her husband is the Jack. Okay. And a tear. Okay, this is not a big threat. You corner the woman's husband at the local tavern. He's busy playing a drinking game with his friends. I can threaten him or join in the drinking game. Eh, threaten him is just standard combat. Let's join in the drinking game. Okay, failure and huge failure are both on the right. I want this one. Yes! You entertain the local tavern folk with your drinking capacity and tales of adventure. I gain a gain card, and the token is mine. I'm sure you are grateful for that. So I didn't have to fight him, thank goodness. Oh, asleep at the inn again. There so we know how to do this. There is safe to sleep, it would seem. Yes. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Alright, so while sleeping at an inn, you jolt awake to find a bandit rifling through your belongings. You are quick to your feet, weapon in hand. The bandit laughs, clearly drunk. Easy there, princess. 
Uh, spare an apple, would you? There's a good lad. He stands unsteadily, clutching a stolen apple and some coins. You grab his arm in protest and earn a punch to the face. Looks like Nancy here wants a fight. The bandit laughs again, spits at your feet, and turns to leave. All right. So we know last time attacking him, we could easily get away with that and kill them. Not a big deal. So last time we encountered the ghost, we showed mercy by lowering our weapon, and that allowed us to continue our adventure. Since this is along the same veins of that adventure, we should show mercy again. Which was something I didn't realize last time. <laughs> so we're doing it again, we're going to lower our weapon this time. The bandit looks at you with contempt. Thought so! He wanders out of the room, whistling tunelessly to himself. Dealer gains two pain cards. Okay, five gold, not a big How deal. Unpleasant. Three food. I'm doing pretty good here. Shaking your head, you warily turn back to your bed and find yourself once again in the presence of the ghost from the forest. Its eye is so familiar, so real compared to its shifting body. Smile into yours. Something stirs in your mind. A past memory. You are still yourself. I need fear no longer. Its pale hands reach for yours, and you suddenly recall a laugh. A laugh to go with those smiling eyes. I have lingered too long in this place. It drains so. Do not forget me. You blink, and the ghost is gone. Those eyes, gone. The card's token is yours. Take it. All right, so we went through a little bit of hazard, a little bit of misfortune in order to get that token, but that's perfectly fine. Oh, Merith. Okay, so, longer life supplies gold and to be blessed. All right, well, I could definitely go for longer life. Uh, I don't really need supplies, right, because I've got one, two, three, four more cards to go through. I've got more than enough food for that. Um, unless there's a card that requests food. Uh, but I don't think we need it. So, don't think I need gold. I've got 94, and there's I don't think there's another shop here. Well, let's go ahead and get another blessing, I think, would be, would be good. By whatever strength my people yet hold, may you be protected on your journey. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. On any hit, the player inflicts two more damage for each blessing they possess. Oh, yeah, you definitely made this one a little overpowered, my friend. So, let's let's take a look at my inventory, because I've got a few blessings. So, I've got three blessings. So, two more damage for each blessing, so two, four. Does it count this? That would be six if it does. That's not bad. Battle at Brooktop. Oh, These places are rife with power. It is not chance that you should meet a warlock here. I've encountered both of the mage cards, the apprentice and the battle, from when I completed the tower. Excellent. There's a token in it for you if you win. A light draws you to a nearby hilltop, where you see a warlock disappear in a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind his summoned minions. Not bad. Four monsters, two dust, two scales. Let's do it. Oh, I bounded right back by accident. <laughs> After the battle, you search the bodies for loot. Two game cards. Sweet food. Just one scrap of food here. 
As you climb down the other side of the hill, you spy what looks like the remains of an ancient temple on another nearby hilltop. Cool. New token. I've got a lot of tokens this time around. Looking forward to unlocking a lot of cards. Oh! Found the boss. Now, a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. This lizardman's potency allows him to nullify the magical abilities of the player's weapons and artifacts. Win this and claim my token. So I can't use my sword special ability to deal more damage, that sucks. But I don't have any artifacts, so not a big deal. We're gonna win this by sheer combat prowess alone. Let's see what kind of bodyguards he has. Four of scales. That's not too bad. Problem being with these lizardmen is those shields that they have, though. Let's get this one out of the way, shall we? Let's see, okay, well it's still working. Maybe he can nullify it with an ability. Alright, let's try stunning him. There we go. So I use my stun to try and get past his blocks. Oh wow, he's got an AoE. Ah, get off it, get off it, come on. Excellent, he's gone. Oh, hello. Hi, 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 hi. This guy's not so bad. Oh, well, I couldn't stun him out of his attack. I do love uh, when I have the helmet or the gloves that give me more movement speed. Come on. I win, you little beastie. Hmm. Well played. Well played indeed. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. So we now have the scepter. So, from now on... Combat will change forever on the face of the battlefield. Swift feet, so I now move with increased speed. I like that. Great food bonus. Start with ventures with more food. Great. Need that after this one. New starting gear. My starting gear has been upgraded once again. Ratman's strength has been increased. That sucks. Ratman have had their strength increased. Bandit health increased. So bandits have their health increased as well. And lizardmen have their strength increased. Okay. Not bad. So new gear additional food and more movement speed those are fantastic boons uh, don't like seeing the ratman getting stronger the bandits get a bit more hell so they'll be a bit more menacing but they haven't really been too much of a problem so overall this isn't too bad the wand represents my will in the purest sense it is not too late for you to give up now go peacefully to your fate and leave me to mine you begin to assemble a credible deck. Let us see what happens next. Wow, how many of these things did I get? Uh, I think I got like eight of these things. This is amazing. All right, here we go. For trading so enthusiastically with a stranger in the shadows, you receive blood auction. So that's from the vampire. For returning the belongings of the dead hero of Wandermere, you receive... War cry. Okay, good. An artifact. For loaning gold to a merchant, you receive marketplace. For purchasing a portal to another land, you receive surprise portal. <laughs> Dear no. Oh God. For surviving a desert storm, you receive. Lost in the desert. Great, I survived the storm just to get lost. Ay. 
for trading with the noblemen you receive. The lovers? Hmm. For going to the tavern to retrieve the woman's husband, you receive tavern wager. For encountering the ghost again, you receive spirit walk. Okay, so it was only a two-step journey. Asleep in the forest, asleep at the inn. And we are left with this benefit, this boon from the spirit. Cool. For exploring Brook Top Hill, you receive the altar. Next step in the mage campaign. For defeating Lizardman Jack, you receive the Queen of Skulls. The Lizard Dome. Metal Ore. Holy Forge. I believe the ore and the forge are related. I'll have to see. As a reward for defeating Lizardman Jack, you receive... Kearney's Antler. So I've got two of those now. And the Undead Bane. Halfway done. Let us continue. So we are now 50% halfway through our journey, and I have now two symbols of power. Very interesting. And I can already see there are three marks on all of the uh, dust cards now. You can kind of see them as they float by. So the dust cards are fully powered up. Alright, so I'm looking forward to the next leg of the journey. This has been amazing fun. Some close calls there. I think I'm getting fairly lucky on this one, which is usually... Uh, counter to what I usually get. I'm normally terrible with RNG, but uh, this has been very fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue to tempt the hand of fate. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you then.